we need to go back to the last 11 weeks. I've been the guy, while Niner fans were, I'm sorry, were really grooving off of this uh, 500-ish season. And while they were in the middle of that nice little hot streak, they didn't want to hear about the fact that Lance wasn't getting any snaps. And I kept being like, well, couldn't you have played him at the end of this game? And couldn't you have gotten him some snaps here? And But no. And now, guess what? Jimmy's probably not going to play for a while. And, and the season depends on Trey Lance. And I feel like there is a consequence now of not playing him at all the last 11 weeks. I mean, he's not as ready as he could have, should have, would have been had they given him some snaps and they had any number of opportunities to do so. This week they're going against a rookie who has shown noticeable improvement because he started like 10 games. So if the Niners miss the playoffs, people are going to say, well, it's because Trey Lance isn't good. You could also say it's because the Niners didn't prepare him for what was inevitable. I mean, really, are we surprised that Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt again? This happened last year. And it's not just Jimmy that gets hurt. A lot of quarterbacks have gotten hurt this year. I mean, what team hasn't gone to a second quarterback this year? I'm looking here, 56 quarterbacks this year have attempted at least 30 passes. So I don't understand how the Niners weren't prepared for Jimmy Garoppolo to get hurt. I mean, isn't that the whole point of having Trey Lance and him on the team together this year? Uh, yeah, I think that – I think. To that, they would say our preparation for Jimmy being hurt was drafting Trey Lance, right? That's, but well, I'm well. I guess we'll see how much the scout team prepares Trey Lance. Well, I guess we'll see yeah. because I my contention is that at just any type of game experience, being in the huddle, hearing the play, uh, getting the snap, handing it off would help at least. But he didn't get it in the last eleven weeks, and now right. the Niners need this guy to be basically off, come off the bench cold and. Win a Super Bowl or take I them guess, to the playoffs. Take them to the playoffs. Be, I guess be, Grant, my my biggest issue too was uh, if they this if they were going to know they were going to go this route and not and not play Lance was why when we talked about this months ago he should have gotten a ton of playing experience right. in the preseason. Yep. They should have played him like eighty percent of the time. Like. Yep. To not yep. f around with those other quarterbacks, just yeah. pull Lance. Like, oh, Jimmy's your starter? Then sit him. Don't play him. Give right. play him for a series or two series or, or yeah. whatever. Right. But just play Lance the entire time. Like, yep. Also, he sh he shouldn't have been just having scout team reps. He should have had twenty five percent or something of your first team reps every week, specifically because quarterbacks get hurt. Your quarterback mm -hmm. is more injury prone than most. Be prepared. Be prepared. Right. Now, I'm not saying Lance is going to be awful. I have no idea what he's going to look like, but you got to prepare for this. No matter who your quarterback is, but especially if it's Jimmy Garoppolo. That's the when they drafted Trey Lance, they didn't want to they didn't want to put down Jimmy. So the, what they kept saying was this is because of the injuries. You know, we just have to be prepared. We can't ha let what happened last season happen this season. Well, is it going to happen this season? Are you going to miss the playoffs because your backup quarterback wasn't prepared? I mean, he's talented. But what? He's 21. He didn't play last year. He didn't play this year. Is he now going to come off the bench and save you? I mean, it's fair yeah. to wonder if that's if that's even a fair expectation. No, and I think, but I also think if you if you think about this too, is that there's not really a perfect time to to insert Lance. Like, there's always going to be. He would have always had this monkey on his shoulder with with Jimmy Garoppolo, whether it was the start of this season and they had cut Jimmy Garoppolo, with whether. It was next season, and they and they cut. If he started next season, you don't think that there'd be immense pressure on him because right. they just released Jimmy Garoppolo, who was right. you know who Forty ers fans love. I mean, he's gonna have pressure regardless of the situation. More now that, it's about more than that. They traded three first round picks for him, right? And that it, he and has the biggest well. monkey on his back of all time. Remember when we were right. kids? I used to talk about Steve had the monkey on his back of having. To, you can't just be good. You have to be better than Joe Montana and justify the switch. Trey Lance has to justify the switch from Jimmy Garoppolo and justify the trade. The freaking trade. It's you have to be top five. If he's like the eighth best quarterback in the league, people will be like, I don't know if it was worth it. You know, rough. Not well, his fault. That is not his fault. That's the Niners' problem. I really hope people don't judge Trey on that because that is the Niners' thing. Like, did was the trade worth it? Not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm gonna say the caveat to that. The caveat to that would be is if they won a Super Bowl. If he was the if he was the last. If he had the worst true. season in the league, but they won a Super Bowl, then good point. They'll take yeah, it. It would okay. be validated. That's true. Right. So uh, I'm not saying the Niners are going to miss the playoffs, but if they do, uh, you really have to look at this decision not to make, not to you know make uh, 
Trey Lance's readiness more important. They were basically saying, we're all in with Jimmy. Forget all of our misgivings from last year. We Forget all that. Jimmy's going to be healthy and he's going to take us to the playoffs. Like, okay. I mean, no one's questioning about, I mean, people are saying he's not, people were, were sort of quibbling about how well he was playing, but really the issue was, is he going to stay healthy? And the answer is no, no, no. Four injuries in 21 games since the, since the Super Bowl, man. I, you can't, you got to be prepared for this. Is he going to stay healthy and is he going to protect the ball? And both no. Have been, no, 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 no. And it's only good to me. He's only going to get slower. He's only, he's not going to get better. He's going to get worse. So anyway, this is uh hindsight, but I was called, I called it all pro Warner 54 says, this is the worst case scenario for the Niners. If they missed the playoffs, I think I already answered that, but I appreciate you saying it. Thank Wait, you. So I do want to say, I don't think in my opinion, it's not all online because to me, the, the Niners were never a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl contender contending team. They're, they they're they don't have they don't have all the pieces. They have some elite players, but they need they need more, and they need particularly more at the quarterback position. And yeah. it wasn't going to come from Jimmy this year. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, I don't know that Lance would have been ready either, even if he played the entire season. But next year he he might right. be ready, and that's why I would I wanted him to play because right. this this experience would help him for next year. And right. next year, the Niners might be ready because they would have that cap space from Jimmy Garoppolo and be able to put together a better roster and, and all of that and all of yeah. that. Yeah. So I, I don't like. But I'm now you're like you're, you're in kind of purgatory this year and next year, too. Like, right. You know, I mean, you're, you're you're eight and seven. That's cool. But that's kind of franchise purgatory. You're not good. You're not bad. You know, yeah. or you're not young. You know, what is the what is the next step? How and do you I go would, from good to good to good to great? And also, I'll say this with to, to 49er fans is, is it a given that if Jimmy played that the 49ers would have beat the Texans and the Rams and then that and they would have gotten the help that they need to make the playoffs? No. Remember, Jimmy put them in this situation where they are now, right, where they don't control their own destiny. So, I mean, aside from one game, which Trey Lance was a starter and they and they lost to the Cardinals, um, it's all been Jimmy Garoppolo. So, like – I don't think you can put all this on, on Trey Lance, regardless of what happens in the next two games. Eddie Marcos 916 says the thumb is an excuse to bench Jimmy. Benching him would hurt his trade value. I don't know if I believe that tinfoil hat theory because yeah. this, I mean, Trey's not ready. You know, I mean, like they, I mean, they've been saying for months, he's not ready to do anything. And all of a sudden he's had a few good weeks of practice. Like, no, Jimmy's hurt. And the Niners clearly didn't really know it. I mean, they didn't say anything to us after the game. They didn't say anything to us the next day or the next day or the next day. They seemed kind of blindsided by it. When they finally announced it, they didn't have the details right. It was worse than what they said. Like, is it is it broken? No. Uh, wrong. <laughs> like, what? So to me, this is more like this is more like Jimmy being, hey man, you know, you guys d- didn't appreciate me. I tried to gut it out. I tried to be a tough guy. Team player didn't use it as an excuse. You guys threw me under the bus. Good luck making the playoffs without me. I'm the bad guy. Fine. I'm out. I can see that. That to me makes more sense. Like I I'm hurt, but I'm not even going to, you guys can figure it out. Like, I don't even care. I, I don't like you guys anymore. I'm protecting myself. You you guys can find out when you find out. Eddie, I, Eddie, I would say what, what do you think hurts his trade by more him getting injured again after injury prone career or getting benched? If I'm a GM, I'm more concerned about the, him being an injury prone quarterback than getting a bench because if yeah, I yeah, but his agent can 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 uh, he can sell like well, you know, Russell Wilson hurt his his finger this year too. I mean, it's kind of a fluky injury. It doesn't mean he's going to get his. You know what? He's get. I'm telling you too. It's just long enough to knock him out for the rest of the year, but I mean, it's not going to really affect his. I don't know if it affects his trade value. You could say look at it like it's another injury, and that's why it's it's always something. You could look at it that way. In fact, if I were a team, I would look at it that way. No, another, no exactly right. It's always yeah. something. Uh, Tony says Brett Favre played with a bad thumb with a little drop off. He was Brett Favre though. Is that true? I don't remember uh, that. So I'm sure it sounds like something he would do. I know if Trey played. Donovan Trey, Donovan McNabb threw four touchdowns on a broken ankle and won a game. That's true. If Trey plays well and shows promise, but we don't make playoffs as a fan, I am ecstatic. If Trey plays well and shows Tom uh, shows promise, how are they going to lose to the Texans? I'm just saying. I mean, they have a really good team. They should probably beat the Texans if their quarterback is ready to play. 
I'm not uh, sure he well, is. Special teams. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Much of this Jimmy injury feels like a way to move Lance, uh, move to Lance without the drama. Storm. It's a really strange time to move to Lance after refusing to play one loss, and all of a sudden it's like let's just go to Lance two weeks before the playoffs. That just doesn't seem like. I don't know. It seems like he's hurt to me. It seems like Jimmy's like, yo, I'm really hurt. And the Niners are like, no, you're not. <laughs> it's just a sprain. And then he's like, no, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm really hurt. Um, or whoever is telling these people. So I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Kyle's ego ruined Trey's rookie year. Fire Kyle. I'm really interested to see how toxic this gets if they miss the playoffs, man. They missed well, the playoffs. We, we don't know if his rookie years were ruined. I mean, he's got we two don't. games. Let's see what he. I mean, may, listen. This is this is a chance for Kyle to prove that he's that he's right. Like yep. if if Trey comes out and has throws for three hundred yards and is awesome, like yep, told yep. so he needed to sit. Yep, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Wesley says it's not impossible for Lance to come in and win a Super Bowl. How amazing would that be? It would be pretty amazing. Could He'd happen. I, it would be I, quite I amazing. I don't see it. Um, I don't think they have the team around them to do it. All Kyle needs to do is not do what he did in Arizona, and we will be fine. Edge can't crash when Trey is in. Just let him hand off for easy gains. Feel me? We're going to talk about that. I do feel you, though. I have to say that's I 100% agree with you. Vince says, it's weird how the Warner comments came out, and then literally less than a week later, Trey Lance era starts. Is that just a coincidence? Great question. What do you think? Uh, Yes. Because I th- I do I'm not I, I'm not a believer in a conspiracy about this thumb injury. I think it's okay. real. So yeah, I, I think it's real too. I, that, that, that's a good answer. It's a good answer. I think this is a real injury. Um, I don't think this is the Niners' choice. I think this is this is Jimmy got hurt. And I do think it's a little yeah. weird that those comments came out, but for yes. different reasons. Not if Trey wins Sunday, Jimmy G Jimmy G area is over. I think the Jimmy G area has been over. <laughs> No, I think it's over. I think it's over one way or another. I don't think he's coming back. What are the chances Jimmy G got injured at home? That thought did cross my mind. Um, I don't know. I guess that's – hey, Niners, figure that one out. <laughs> you might want to find out. Yeah. It's going to be – this Sunday. Know. This Sunday. If I were the Niners, I would definitely wonder. Yeah. Mm, but, but, uh, he was uh, hitting up that PS4. He was late night. Yeah, man. He just got a little too vigorous on Madden 2000 or whatever. Uh, Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you. Quarters. Uh, Anthony says, Kyle, keep running the ball 25 plus times. Trey can scramble if he needs to. He can be a game manager with big playability. Lance can scramble his way to the Super Bowl. He is reading our minds here. At least my mind. Thank you, Antonio. Dang, we got a heck of topics. Hecka. 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 When we were kids, you couldn't say hella in school, so you said hecka. Is that a RW quarters? I, I, probably his brother. Robert McCorder says, do you think Niners only listen to AFC offers? Dude, they will take any offer. Oh. <laughs> any offer. I you know? think if you're, yeah, if you're a team, you listen to all offers. But it's just if if a team is in your division or in your conference, that it just has to be. Dude, if Seattle wants Jimmy, hey, man, take take him. Yeah. You make a bad decision. I mean, that's the, that, that's I think the Niners traded up with Seattle for Ruben Foster. Like. Seattle was like, oh, you want Ruben? Psh, okay, go ahead. I mean, if, if you're Seattle, if you're Seattle and the Niners offered you six first round picks for, for Russell Wilson, wouldn't you do that? Yeah. <laughs> so <last laughs> Friday, hey, can we talk about how Lance's ability to help the defense against Arizona? He kept drives alive with his legs. Defense played well. No gyms, three and outs. That's true. They didn't have a lot of three and outs. I like a quarterback who can scramble. Um, it's just that, you know. They use him like a running back in that game, and we always wondered why. I asked Kyle, like, was his was his broken finger affecting him in that game? He's like, absolutely. It definitely was, and now it's all healed up. So I think that could be one. Maybe that's why Kyle called that game the way he did, because he says his, he, his finger is messed up, and his it's like he's not throwing the ball well right now. Possible, because he well, wasn't when, throwing the ball well after that. I mean, he he wasn't. When did he hurt? The, when did he hurt his finger in that game? Here's finger in the last preseason game against the Raiders. Oh, okay. The Raiders. Dropping D Ford and Jimmy's salary will free up cap space for the offseason. Now they need to spend it on a corner. Corner. And that and that second round draft pick, too. Yeah. And the corner market isn't is it's not very robust. So it's like it's basically Stefan Gilmore and everybody else. So um 
Who is better, Jimmy or Garcia? JC Jackson, but JC Jackson's gonna get franchised by the Patriots. So, yeah, who is better, Jimmy or Garcia? <laughs> Garcia. Garcia, yeah, man. Good People, I guess I don't. I don't know. Like kids may not remember Garcia, but Garcia was an athlete. Garcia came to the Niners. I think he started. Start, he started at like twenty nine, so he was a little bit older than Jimmy when he got here, and he would run for like four hundred yards a year. I mean, he was a freaking athlete. And he had no offensive line. He was really good at avoiding pressure. He did have Terrell Owens, but Jimmy has freaking Kittle and Debo. And he didn't have the running game that that Jimmy's had. He There was never a time where Garcia could just hand off 40 times a game. Like, he didn't have it like that. He was It was a pass-first team with a bad defense, and he was really good. He was, really, he was, he was a perennial – he was a multi-year pro bowler. He was in the MVP conversation. Only reason he – he wasn't quite as good as – Kurt Warner and Brett Favre at that time, but he was like the third or fourth best quarterback in the league. Yeah, I, mean, I thought he was better than Rich Gannon, who won an MVP. He was better. He was always better than Gannon. Right. I don't know if this is a hot take. He's better than Kaepernick. Yeah. I, yeah. Again, I thought at that time in like 2000, 99 from 99 to 2001, the only quarterbacks in the league who were better than him. That was sort of before Peyton Manning had taken off, before Brady had taken off. It was Favre and Warner. Am I? Favre, I mean, he was right there with McNabb, with McNair. He was right there with them, if not better. Garcia was really good. Yeah, because he was consistently a top ten quarterback in in the league. Like, yeah, Garcia, and he didn't turn the ball over. Yeah, McNabb was a little bit later. He was two thousand. So McNair would have been there. I mean, McNair was really good. I thought Garcia was as good or better than McNair, who was this close to winning a Super Bowl and was a hell of a player. He won an MVP too, didn't he? Uh, Garcia, McNair. Oh, uh, I think he did. I think he did. Yeah. So that's how good. That's how good. Garcia was at the borderline MVP level. Jimmy Garoppolo was never even a Pro Bowler. No. So um, that's my answer. Uh, but that was also back when I was a Niner fan. I love Jeff Garcia. I used to pick him first round in, in fantasy football drafts just because. And I would lose. But, you know, right. we, we control our own destiny with Miami's win last night. That's great. Good point. That is good. And now it all, Trey Lance controls your destiny. Jimmy set the bar so low for Trey Lance. I believe Trey is good enough to win these last two games. His ability to run upgrades the offense. I just hope he's ready. I just hope he's been prepared for this. I mean, the Niners really put him on ice like they weren't going to need him this year. And now, boom. Oh, whole season depends on you. So now we're in a space where we're comparing Jimmy to Favre. Logs off chat. One is Iron Man. The other is Mr. Glass. Yeah. Man, we got heck of comments today. Hecka. I'm going PG today. Kyle is like Angela from the office ditches Dwight because of his dumb shenanigans, but makes life miserable for Andy. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. I like that. RW McCorder's son. You guys are real. Oh, 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 are you RW the third man? RW was a baller. Hey, thank you, Robert. Say hello to your dad for me. Yeah. Maybe he could come back and return and return, pun, uh, return punts and kick returns for the 49er. The RW over corners was, was one of the final uh, quarter uh, cornerbacks the Niners drafted in round one. Uh, they drafted him, Ahmed Plummer, yep. Mike Rumpf. Those were three in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Since then, they have gone like 20 drafts in a row without doing it. So shout out RW. I hope all the Jimmy stands leave with Jimmy. The Jimmy stands, I, I don't know. It'll be interesting where they how they will – well, what, what happened to the – are they like the LeBron? Do they do they go from team to team, or is it just a, a segment of the Niners' population that, that the same segment that loved Alex Smith when he was the quarterback and game managing? I think I don't know. My in my opinion, um, ultimately, Jimmy fans are 49ers fans, so they'll get over it and they'll learn to love Trey Lance. And if Dave says, just getting on. Is, is it finally time for Trey? What's up, guys? Yeah, I think I think so. It's not official yet. We'll find out. But yeah. Could we trade Jimmy for two solid DBs? Could we make it work? Dude, I no. Cut him. Yeah. Cut him. The 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 trade market was New England, I think. Truth equals Trey Lance is better than Jimmy. Keep playing bully ball with three running backs, with, with running backs 30 to 40 times a game. Trey equals huge energy shift heading into the playoffs. Relax and enjoy the show. I'm excited, Noop. I mean, I just hope that they, that he's actually adequately prepared. Is it time to let Adam Peters take John Lynch's seat? I'm telling you something. If the Niners miss the playoffs, and someone's got to get held responsible. It might just be the dude who had the Twitter fingers on Christmas Eve. I'm just saying. My, my question to that comment would be: Is if you're going to make that sort of mood, is is Adam Peters the right guy to put in that? In that good call. Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't beat the Titans without Henry. What makes 
All these Jimmy apologists think he was going on the road and beat four playoff teams. Shake my head. Try time. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That was the end. That was his Waterloo. Tennessee. Who knew? I was there. I watched it happen. I was not expecting it. I picked the Niners to win. McNair won co-MVP with Peyton. That is true. And he so was with good barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. They did have good, ball, uh, good barbecue. I had some. I had the. I went to uh, Martin's. Martin's.